Hello guys, what's up? This is Game Edition RDF for the another Minecraft Redstone video. In this video, I will show you how we can build a device that can compare two numbers in binary and output so that you know if one of them is bigger than the other or they are equal to each other. So, yeah, let's see how it performs first and then we will see how we can build it. So, if you go here, as you can see, we have three outputs equal, smaller, and bigger. So this device checks if the input that is on top, which I call, I'm call, i going to call A input, is bigger or smaller than this one, the B input. And it also checks if they are equal to each other. So let's see how it works. So they're at, now they're at um, 0 and 0, obviously. And it says they're equal to each other. and Hopefully you know that 0 equals 0. So let's see another example. We flick these levers. So it's 3 up on top and 1 at, one at the bottom. So it should be 3 bigger than 1. Let's see if that's true. And yes, 3 is indeed bigger than 1. And let's see another example. Just flip these around a little bit. So we're going to check if 1 is bigger or smaller than 3. And conveniently enough, 1 is smaller than 3. So how do we build it? We're going to see it in the next clip. Alright, so I have my trusty block up on top of my plot. And I hope you can define what's going on around because there is so much clutter, mass of redstone going on. Okay, so. Let's start with the core of this machine, which is a other and other. Um, so I'm going to build a very classic design. I'm going to sort out my inventory real quickly, if you don't mind me. This, that, and it's just how I like it. So let's start with the first XORs, XNORs, to be um, to be exact. Um, First, what we do is put two diagonal blocks and torches on the side. Should be very easy enough. And since we're going to go with a subtractor, um, I will in invert the first input by doing so, like this, or not. Okay, let's let's build the AX node first. We're going to do the XOR and it should be pretty easy to follow up. Just like this. And then we build a little thing here so that um, we can get the ore that powers this torch. Just put two blocks on top. Put a piece of redstone, dust, and torch right there, and we will put our end gate up on here, just like this. And this will be our X nor gate done, if I am not mistaken. Yep, this works like a charm. Now, let's build the carry logic very quickly, and it should be very easy enough. So just go down by one. Put a torch on the side and make up a little, a little um, T shape like this. So, not like a T, but I mean, like this. And punch out this block right in the middle. Put redstone dust on top of each other block and put your um, uh, redstone torches there. And then, it's going to carry out this signal three blocks up. Just like this, and do the same thing for this one as well. Just like so. And then this part is a little tricky in the server, but I hope it works. Yep. Um, oh, we have to put a um, health slab there. So put that um, here. Now we have to get a um, slab on top of the uh, torch so that it doesn't interfere. Another slab for the repeater. It's just a um, multiplexer based XOR, XOR gate. Just like 
this. And just have to do the same thing on here as well. And then let's do the uh and gate. No, not dang it. Um whoops. The cut carry. If I could get that piston, okay. And then we have to bot this because we, there is no way we can power that piston with this one. So I'm just going to um put another piston right here. And get the block right there. So if we if we actually um try and control this, you should see that that um piston gets butted and it works. As you can see, it works just fine. Okay, and then what we do is we have to power this um piston with the output of the XNOR gate. And we can just do it like this. Okay, now we can stack this up for make it, for making it easier on us. So I'm gonna go like this and then one block like that. And set this as my first position. And set this one up for my second position. And I'm just going to stack this three times. So we have a 4 bit compare. Um, nope. You can um, do whatever you want, how many bits you want, but you should consider the fact that um, signal does not reach, carry does not reach after the seventh bit. And we have these dirt pistons. Oh, yes, that would be fun. You can just flip these levers. I guess. No? Doesn't work. Oh, we forgot the um, yeah. So it bad thing about the uh, this other design, these does not stack, and yeah. So we have to fix these as well. So destroy these, every other um piston, and we're going to make something a little different, like so. And same thing on this part. Already. And then let's fix these um pistons right. Oops. Take fix these here. This should be all good and let's flip these up as well. Yeah, so our pistons should be all good now. Sorry for the Sorry for the derp. And yeah. And let's see if the other works actually. And let's add 5 plus 3. And adding 5 and 3 is a very good test for others since it calculates so much carry. And indeed, the answer is 8. So our other is working. Now we have to turn this into a subtractor. And to this subtractor, it's fairly easier than you think. So let's punch out these blocks, these levers. I'm just going to invert one of these signals. I'm just going to put my input here and just carry this one over. Like so. And I prefer to put lamps there since it makes it. A lot, a lot easier to see what's going on. Okay, oh, where did my lever go? Whoops. Like this and this. And I think we can stack this up. And then... That tree. There we go. So now there's only one thing left. Oops, we have forgot the um dust up on top. We have to power the carry in. So we're just doing um uh, two components here basically, inverting and adding one. 
and yeah get rid of this and get this okay so this will be subtracting now we are subtracting the one on top from no just over this from that one let's see 5 minus 3 should be 2 and we have it working now so how on earth we're going to get those three inputs we discussed from a subtractor and I know it's going to sound like magic but subtractors are basically competitors if you just look at the um just look at the carry out so if you come here the carry out of this design determines if there is a it just determines the sign of it just how it works and if there is if the carry out is um the carry out is lit up it means that your number is positive and if not it means it's negative so let's get this out of here and make our logic now first thing first you should um see is that we are having a positive here as i said if it is lit up it means your number is positive and i mean your output is positive so it says that the uh zero is positive and conveniently enough it is not um so it's not convenient i'm sorry and so we should do special logic for this basically so we're not going to really use these um outputs so what we can do is use them to determine if we have a zero or not so we can just or them up together and there's not going to be any backflow into the machine or anything and we can just um, invert this so if the signal is on very simple logic here shouldn't be that hard um, if the signal is on it means that we are having, having um, zero so it shouldn't be positive or anything and this also says that our numbers equal each other which is if you think um, if you subtract only if you subtract the same number from itself it's going to give a zero so th that will mean that these two inputs are equal to each other I hope it's not too complicated and we will see it how uh, actually how easy it is in just a second so I'm just going to bring this like this and we can do additional logic later that one over so positive negative no positive zero and how are we going to do negative it's just doing it's just simple as doing this oops like so invert that one up so a number can be either positive or negative or zero so we can invert just invert that one to get the to get the result just do this and yeah so now we have a fairly fairly working um so to do these so that we can see easier fairly working um compare the last thing is that if we have a zero we don't want any in our output here so we can just control that with a piston how nice um hate is gonna hate but pistons are sometimes useful you can just do this and power this one up and yeah this completes our 4-bit comparator let's see if it works or not so I'm just going to get these together so we can visualize it better as I said and let's see if it if it works um so I'm just going to enter 9 oh let's go a little different and just enter um, 12 and and 12 and 9 so we go here we see yeah 12 is bigger than 9 so if we label these plus minus or negative and 0 
equal oh, so the inputs are equal to each other the one on top is smaller than the one on the bottom the one on top is bigger than the one on the bottom so let's switch these around and test this if it actually really works 1 and 9 so we should have the negative and yep and let's enter same numbers both on top and bottom 5 and 5 they are equal to each other so yeah so this is how you build a comparator in Minecraft so you can use these devices in CPUs to see, to do things like if A equals B perform this action or if they are if this is smaller just do this and yeah so if you found this video helpful please leave a like and show support any questions you can leave in the comment section below I am going to be pleased to answer them and I will see you in the next video guys bye